let's take a look at creating a jigsaw puzzle uh, effect where an image we require can appear using custom paths and build us a jigsaw puzzle. So let's start at the beginning by creating the pieces of our jigsaw puzzle. So I'm going to go and insert a shape and obviously we would like a square. Now I'm going to hold down the shift key so that our square remains perfect. There we go. So we have a perfect square by keeping the shift button down. Now I'm going to need some parts to make this look like a jigsaw puzzle. So I'm going to go to circle. I'm going to hold the shift button down again and I'm going to grab a circular piece approximately that size. Now we need to get this dead center on our image. So that tells me it's dead center there. And if I let go, I can see the white dots. So you could always zoom in if you really wanted to be careful. Yeah, looks like the white dots are pretty much dead center and the line was dead center. So I'm okay that that's dead center. Now I need to control D to make another copy here. I'm gonna go place that over there. There's that dead center line and I've gotta get it. You could obviously use the um, play around using your range. You could be, you know, lining top, centering, stuff like that. I'm just doing it by eye for now. So there is our two parts of the jigsaw puzzle. Now we need to turn it into a jigsaw puzzle. So I'm going to highlight the first part, click on the first circle. We're going to go drawing tools. We are going to merge the shape. And in this case, I think we want to combine them. Nope, we want to union them. There we go. Now it looks like a piece of a jigsaw puzzle. Now we're going to do the same for the other piece. We're going to click there. We are going to click on the shape. We are going to go to our formatting tools. We are going to merge the shape and we're going to subtract. Great, now that is the parts of a jigsaw puzzle. Now obviously we need four of them. So let's put that one up there. Let's control D and we need to home that one. We need to arrange and we're gonna rotate it 90 degrees and we're gonna fit it into our jigsaw puzzle. There we go. We're going to need another one, Control, well, not Control c Control v that would also work, but Control duplicate We're going to arrange, we're going to rotate that one 90 degrees the other way. And we're going to insert it into our puzzle. Okay, there we go. And I need one more piece again, and this time we're going to what, arrange and rotate it. Um, I think flip, oh, let's just do it once and arrange it and rotate it, um, rotate it again. I think that means 90 degrees, there we go, and then we can put our other piece in. Right, so there we go. We've now created our four pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. Now that we've created our jigsaw puzzle there, we need an image for the jigsaw puzzle. So I'm using the same one from a previous video, but obviously this is not going to fit a square puzzle. So we need to trim it. So again, it's back to format, back to our crop button. And this time we're gonna say, make it one, the same width by the same height, one to one. And we're gonna hit enter. There we go. Now we have a perfectly square elephant. So I'm gonna copy that and go back to my puzzle. I need to maybe make this slightly smaller for now so we can see what's going on. I'm going to paste and we need to get this elephant picture exactly fitting our puzzle. There we go. Okay. That's good enough for me. Right, so now we have an image that fits the puzzle. I'm going to copy that, go to a new slide, and I'm going to paste it in a few times, or control D it, D, 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 D. I think we need about four of them. Let's just put them all to one side for now, and just bring back the first one. Now, we need to uh, delete that one there. I wonder where my jigsaw puzzle had gone. So let's grab the first piece. So I'm not gonna mess with my jigsaw puzzle up there. I'm just going to copy that piece, bring it down. I'm going to paste it, and I'm going to stick it in the top corner. Now we've already seen how to do this. So I'm gonna to have to shift and uh, select the both, both pieces, 
go to format I go to my merge and this time we want to intersect there we go intersect done look at that now we have a movable piece of a jigsaw puzzle so we'll stick that over there let's bring back our next image let's go and get the second piece of the jigsaw puzzle I'm just going to copy it from there initially paste it over here and move it to that position we're again going to go to format we're going to edit shape no we're not we are going to obviously I haven't selected them both shift shift we're going to go format we're going to merge shape and we're going to intersect now we have our second piece of the jigsaw puzzle bring back our third image go and grab our third piece of the jigsaw puzzle copy that come down here hit paste get it nicely lined up we then need to select both images holding the shift key down we then go to format again we merge shape and we intersect there's our third piece of a movable jigsaw puzzle so we just needed one more image I'm going to go there I'm going to copy again bring it back here and hit paste and we're going to nicely line that one up we're going to select the first image hit the shift key hit both images we're going to format we're going to merge and we're going to intersect there we go there's our four images ready to be animated now we want to animate so I've put my images outside of the presentation area as their starting point um, you could make these borders white I've decided just to put a small border around the image so that it makes it easier to see as that it is a jigsaw puzzle so I've just highlighted the other three we're going to format the object we're going to go down to line solid line red 0.75 seems to work perfectly okay excellent right we are done now all of our images have a little right red border on them now let's use our custom path to build this up well unfortunately we need a destination so I'm going to go and grab this for now our old puzzle bring it back and temporarily put it in our presentation where we would like the puzzle to appear now we can go click on our first image we can go to animation we can I'm going to choose one here because I'm going down the bottom of the screen most people tend to use all of these and I'm going to pick the line animation now I'm going to go and grab the little red dot there which is the um, end point of my second image and I'm going to go and put it onto the puzzle hopefully get it spot on there we go I'm then going to go and grab my second piece of the puzzle I'm going to go for line again keeping this very simple and we are then going to go and drag that onto well first time great pick our third piece of the puzzle go for line again onto the little red dot which is our destination and let's go put you in place and lastly we're going to go to the fourth one I'm going to just pick line again for now and we're going to on to the little red dot there and we're going to drag our jigsaw puzzle in here we go it's not quite straight is it looks like it needs to come down a fraction across a fraction up a bit down a bit fire and click off screen that's it um, okay I've left them on I've left them all on for click oh now we can obviously get rid of the um, template we don't need it we know where the parts are going so if we run this now quite simply when I hit spacebar the first part of our jigsaw puzzle arrives there's our second part there's our third part coming in and there's our fourth part so that's how we could build use PowerPoint to take an image and bring it in as a jigsaw puzzle custom paths a little bit more awkward than the presets given from PowerPoint so what I tend to do is shrink the screen down and give myself a little bit of like a centimeter two centimeter gap here as a little bit of leeway so let's go and do a custom path I'm going to select the first part we're going to go down and now we're not choosing the ready-mades we're going for custom 
Now roughly click in the center of your piece to start with and start to draw the crazy path that you would like this to take and roughly end up dead center of the location you need it to be. There we go. And now I'm going to hit the escape button and I wasn't that far off, was I? So now, and I might not be able to do it with such a small screen. Wow, that's lucky. Right, so why I wanted the the gap there is you might need to shift it up, shift it right a little bit um, to make it fit. So we got away with that one. Let's try it again. We'll go down to uh, custom path. We'll start roughly in the beginning of the image. We'll go and make this one fly around zigzaggy all over the place with then a little wiggle to the roughly the center there we go and hit the escape button yep let's click on the red icon and try and get this one Ugh, it's almost there oh, it's for the purpose of the video look if you can't get it almost there then obviously i'm not going to spend time you can zoom in and um, move that red square to make it more accurate as per so not quite there is it that's good enough right there we go and I'm going to zoom back out again I'm not going to do it for the other two if they're not quite right they forgive me so we'll go for our last one we'll go again custom pass um, roughly start in the middle of the image there and again what is it you want this one to do and roughly end up in the middle of the block there we go hit the escape button didn't quite get it right but that's close enough for this video yeah I'm not gonna sit there and tidy it up I'm gonna speed the training up so ugh, that's off but they'll have to oh dear it really is off isn't it ah, that's close enough and we do our last part as well we'll go down to custom path roughly in the middle of the image and this one can fly all over the place and roughly back to dead center hit escape and move, moving the wrong image now onto our red square or red rectangle and that one needs that one needs to go really why do i keep unclicking this Let's just go and drag that one up a little bit. There we go. Oh, that one's almost spot on. Great. Um, click off the screen. Now, again, we know we can get rid of our puzzle. And look at that absolute mess. Let's go run it in the real world. Obviously, we're going to slow this down a bit. <laughs> yep. Let's go and slow this down. So we're now going to go to um, shrink this. We'll go to our first image and we can you can go into the animation pane, but I'm just going to go here and say, let's make this duration ridiculous. Let's make it 10 seconds. Let's make this one as well. 10 seconds. Let's make this one 10 seconds. And let's make this one 10 seconds for the duration. Let's see how that looks now when we run it. There we go. So I mean, it's a crazy path it's taking, but as you see, it's following exactly where I told it to go before it relaxes and stops. And then we can have our second part coming in. I've just made it so slow that we can see it is following the path that we chose. And here comes number three. I know I didn't get that one straight and there comes number four there we go so that custom path is a bit more awkward because you don't get the well, I haven't found a way yet of getting the green and the red dot when you use the ready-made ones but um, with a bit of trial and error you can get your um, custom animation to fit nicely <laughs> 